I awoke to the sounds of Lily's gentle snores as they drifted across the bedroom loft. She was still fast asleep and I needed to keep it that way, or suffer the consequences. Creaky floorboards meant that the simple act of getting dressed will require a little ingenuity. Good morning, Dougal. Yoink. Huh? <sighs> Lily made a fish and marmalade sandwich for me the day before. I didn't have the heart to refuse, but I wasn't about to eat it. <coughs> oh, my heart stinks. Boots, check. I freed my sweater from Lily's clutches, but I was still out of reach. I should be able to get the trajectory right. <laughs> that was my cue to sneak out of there. I decided I'd cycle to the nearby town. Maybe I'd find someone willing to hire me. Maybe I'd find someone who knew where my dad had gone. But first, I had a few things to take care of. I picked up the jug. I'd need water to make Lily's breakfast. Strange light? Oh, it's a package from my father. Arthur, this is the last of the small crystals. I hope this was worth giving up your job for. I'm still finding the whole notion difficult to believe. I'm tempted to make a trip to your home to see it with my own eyes. But the fact that you keep the generator in your bedroom is quite unsettling, to say the least. If what you say about the lesser crystals is true, then I fear what may happen when this company begins experimenting on the large one. It's still safe for now, but I don't think it'll be possible to smuggle it out of here without anyone noticing. Given the apparent results of your own experiments, it's possible they'll listen to your warning. However, it's more likely they'll see nothing other than the potential for profit. For now, I'll do my best to impede their research. Stay safe, my friend. Nina. A strange crystal was obviously important to my father. I couldn't help but wonder if it had anything to do with going missing. I decided to do a little snooping around. Dad's compactable footstool seemed like a great idea. I wasn't sure why it hadn't taken off. The pump handle had snapped, leaving only a small section of it protruding from the pump. It was going to take something heavy to force it down. It looked like the pitchfork had fallen from its resting place. Yet another impressive feat of engineering. Well, well, well.
Dad, where are you? Dad made his own generator to power his workshop. As with his other inventions, he just refused to explain how it worked. It looked like there was something missing, but I hadn't figured out what. There, that should keep it cool. Let's see. Hmm, it fits. Huh? It's glowing. Whatever I did, it caused the machine in the back garden to power up. Didn't really stop to think where my dad got the mask or why he wanted it. I was pretty sure I could put it to good use though. Sure enough, the lights and whatever other equipment Dad constructed were receiving power. I wasn't sure if I was getting any closer to figuring out what happened to him, but it was the best lead I had. appeared to have opened by itself. There was a 50-50 chance that it was intended to respond to vibration or that it was simply as reliable as the stepladder. It was one of the puzzle boxes my father often made for Lily. I wasn't sure why he hadn't given her this one, but I knew she'd be happy to have it. I wanted to give Lily the puzzle box I found, but she was still asleep. Uh, Lily, does when in doubt, dance it out mean anything to you? The secret dance routine turned out to be the solution for the combination lock. Inside the box there was a small key where the tasty treat should have been. about the right side. Hey! So hungry. Need breakfast. 
Look, Dougal, everything's laid out already. I should just make it myself. It's porridge. What could go wrong? Big old bag of oats. Prepare to be eaten. Hey, wait a minute. It's empty. <gasps> Okay, I can fix this. All I need is a fresh bag of oats, a new bowl, and then to place a pot over the fire. This is easy peasy. What was Dad worried about? Dougal, attack that string! <laughs> hey Dougal, I think someone's at the door, boy! Here's I did this all by myself. Ooh. Hang on. Where is Dad? For a moment, I wondered where I was. Then I noticed everything was different. I was different, but... It was when I thought of Lily that it no longer mattered why. I couldn't let her think that she had lost someone else. Somebody had left their belongings on the floor of the strange room. After glancing over the items, I realized some of them belonged to my dad. So, this is where you went. It was unusual to see dad without his hat, and vice versa. But then again, it was noticeably warmer than home. I decided to take it with me. A glass jar had been left next to the other belongings, emitting a faint white light. Assuming unusual objects to be important seemed like a good rule of thumb, so I picked it up. Placing the jar into the left socket had restored basic power to the lab. There was a pair of niche panels on one of the walls, each containing an empty spherical socket. Placing the jar into the left socket had restored basic power to the lab. Whatever the rightmost socket was supposed to do, it didn't seem to be able to do it while the lab was unpowered. Placing the jar into the left socket had restored basic power to the lab. There was just enough power to distribute to the door release. It took a large amount of power to get me here. Logic dictated that it would take something similar to get me home. I was gonna have to venture outside to find it. And in the back of my mind, I hoped that I might find my father along the way. Hmm, Dad must have gone to 
town without telling us. Oh well, time to go to work. Stretchy rope from the tractor. Every adventurer needs rope. Dad says we're running out of money. He's doing his best to find a job. He's probably gone to town for that exact reason. So until then, we've got to do our best to help out. Hey, Breeze! You didn't pay for that! Good thing wings can't ride bikes. Wait, if Dad's bike is still here, where's he been all morning? I had a bad feeling, and I was pretty sure it had nothing to do with the porridge. I couldn't let the gnome see me, but I didn't have time to climb back over the wall. Hiya! With gnome out of the way, I was free to start looking for Dad. like a dream. I was being led down a path, and short of curling up into a ball, I was helpless to do anything about it. I considered going back inside and just waiting for someone to find me, but I knew that if I wanted to get back to Lily soon, I'd have to find the source of power for the machine that brought me here, and I wasn't coming back until I found it. Oh! 
Ron! Of all the souls I have encountered in my travels, his was the most... fuzzy. Dougal, this must be where everyone went! What if something happened? I need to go after them! I wandered deeper into the swamp and began to feel uneasy. From the gnarled and twisted branches of bizarre trees to the clamor of unrecognizable creatures filling the air, it was clear I was a long way from home. sure where I am. Can you help me get home? Maybe help each other? Come, sit. Long ago, they had machines kept us warm, safe. Now I am alone, and the machines not work. Well, I'll take a look, but if I do, will you help me get home? 
By fixing the machine, you return home. So it's the same generator that powers the lab. Okay, show me. Follow. Next to Mare's toolbox was a single peculiar glove. What is this? Whoa! Careful. Uh, sorry. The crystal hidden behind the wall looks similar to the one I had seen earlier that day. a screwdriver from the overturned toolbox. In one corner of the room were several flowers laid out in a grid pattern. There was something familiar about it. Hey, I think that worked. Hey, what are you doing? Get out of here!
Uh, can I help you? My name is Nina. I'm a friend of your father's. I... I've been out here for a while thinking about how to say this in a way that you'd believe me, but then... But then, about a minute ago, I heard that sound. You've been there, haven't you? To Clonfira. Yes, and I need to get back there. My... You mustn't go back there! It's dangerous! Your father... He was killed! I'm so sorry! He... he... What? Lily! Lily's there! And Clonfira! You have to help me bring her home, please! Oh my god! Come with me! We need to get to my lab! Hurry! But then he spat me out! He's probably not used to his food poking him with a sword. And then I saw you! Although, you already knew that bit. You're a good listener, like Dougal. Hey, what's your name, by the way? Mm, well, you're like a big bug, so I'm gonna call you Bugsy, okay? So, will you help me find my family? Okay, first, let's get out of here. I might be able to climb this. Oof! Or not. Hey, Bugsy! Give me a boost! Doggy door this whole time? Come on then. I wasn't sure how he even managed to fit through his own doggy door. flowers. I don't have any more crystals of the type Arthur used, but I have this. Wait, why can't we just use that with my father's machine? Because we don't want to blow up the whole countryside. I'll explain when we get to my lab. I'm hoping that I'll be able to send you to Clemphira from here, but they're not going to just let me bring someone into the building. You should be able to sneak in through the side entrance. Just make sure no one sees you. I'll go on ahead and get started. See you soon. <coughs> Hang on, Lily. I'm on the way. <laughs> Somebody has hidden the key underneath the flower pot. Thank <laughs> you. 
The door only stayed open for a moment before swinging shut behind the cat. I was going to have to find another way in. I'm usually a stickler for avoiding fire hazards, but this was for the greater good. My new psychic had left me with a way in. I'd made it into the canteen. The worker was still there, facing towards the lift. <sighs> If I'd known earlier that I'd be standing on a narrow ledge above a hydroelectric dam, I wouldn't have gone out of bed that morning. Ah! Oh, whoa! Ah! Oh, whoa! It wasn't going to help me fly, but I figured I could use it for something. There you are. What took you so long? What? Never mind. I need your help with something. I'm almost ready to go here, but I need something else for this to work. A cavity magnetron should do the trick. The easiest one to get is probably from the microwave, microwave oven upstairs. upstairs. <sighs> I'll finish up here. Let me know when you've got it. I didn't fancy the idea of all those stairs. There's a perfectly good lift nearby. Hey, Jerry! The microwave oven was in use, but I didn't have time to wait. At least there's no sign of the bird this time. There was one thing people always said not to do in these situations, and that was it.
Great, thank you. This will just take a moment. All right, I followed your father's design as closely as I could. Put this on. Now this crystal is different from the others, much more powerful. With the lesser crystals, you need to find a place where the fabric of our reality is already weakened. But with this, we should be able to tear open a new gateway right here. Thanks. Aim that way. Aiden, be careful. Give me that! Whoa! Where am I? Grandad! There you are. What are you doing here? Come on, we have to get... Lily? I thought I lost you too. Maybe it's not too late to save my dad. Dad! Granddad! You're okay! What? Mommy? What? No! Why did you make me see that? Leaving you. Dad, keep him busy for a sec. Hey, you big ugly monster over here. Look at me. With a face like that, no wonder he tricks people into seeing something else. What are you doing here? Are you okay? I'm so worried. I was looking for you and Grandad. Lily, 
Granddad. I know. Can we go home now? Wait. Mur. He stole the glove. We needed to get home. Come on, quick. We can't get stuck in this place. Mare! Wait! No more waiting. This time, I go! Big monster, you owe me. anymore.
goes down.